like a muted, subtle, almost like I've tricked somebody into, I don't know, like they just walk in and they don't think, whoa, this is the summer room. I absolutely love summer. It's this time of year when we pull out our white dresses and we get to wear shorts and sandals and wedge heels and the beach and sea are calling our name and there is just sunshine and warmth everywhere and I love it. So things are definitely heating up here in Atlanta and I have just been craving a little bit of a switch up in my sunroom. So I'm going to be sharing over the next few videos how I'm making over this space. I've got a few DIYs. We're going to be talking about art walls, how to style a shelf. We're going to be doing all of it. Just simply giving this room just a mini facelift for the season. I do this for every season. I think it's just a lot of fun. I think there's a lot of misconceptions about the kinds of materials that you should be using for the summer season and what kinds of things you should be decorating with. And I just wanna spend some time just talking about the things that I really love and I think that you guys do too. I really love getting to see so many of your homes on our virtual design services. It's such a blast hopping on that Zoom call and you guys walking us around your house and seeing what you're doing. Based on what you guys are saying in your comments and the virtual sessions, you've been asking for me to show you how we actually style these things instead of just big pans of a completed room. So we're just gonna break it down in the next few videos and show you what we're doing as we do it. So let's jump in to three ways that you can style your sofa for the summer. I'm so excited. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so the first thing I do, I feel like I need to like get down. Okay, let me get you lower for just a second. So before you get styling your sofa for the summer, the very first thing that I suggest that you do, because it's what I like to do, is to pull out what you have and really survey what you really think should stay in the room. Now, I know that a lot of people think that you shouldn't use velvets for summer, but I totally use velvet for summer. I think that you can absolutely mix it in. For instance, these are awesome cushions. They're not super heavy and they're still soft. As you guys know, we've lived in many different places and our time in Spain and Morocco was extremely hot. So the idea of putting something velvet on my sofa during that summer heat wave, there's absolutely no way I would have ever thought about it because we were so hot, we thought we were gonna die of the heat. So we were really craving light materials. However, when we were in Copenhagen, where it's cold, even during the summer, in my opinion, um, people would still use velvet. So I think it just depends on whether you have air conditioning or not, but a velvet cushion like this is just gorgeous and a light color like this is just genius. So I'll show you how we're gonna put that together. But if that is not your thing, I'm showing you these pillow covers. These are, these are from Pottery Barn. And I just love this kind of weave on it. It's very um, soft, it's very lightweight. And the best part about all of these is that you can take the covers off and just switch them out. So if you really don't want the velvet that's been there, you just switch the cover. And this is a very, affordable way of making over your sofa. These amazing items are from a company called Catavento. When they wrote me and asked if I would be interested in receiving some items, I was so excited because I know that you guys are going to absolutely love this company. Their ethos is the love of new horizons and coming home. And you guys know that our obsession is adventure here. That's what we love. 12 years overseas and traveling the world, it's part of our ethos. These incredible items are being handmade by artisans in Latin America. I just have to show you because the quality on these is beautiful. So in addition to pulling out items that you think would be great for summer, I also suggest thinking through these key things. You wanna think about texture, you wanna think about color, and you wanna think about pattern. So these all three just pass that test. I'm actually saving this one because I'm getting ready to do my daughter's dorm room in a few weeks, and when she saw this, she flipped out because everything she's been asking for has been in this aqua color. So I'm gonna save this one for her, but I'm gonna show you some of the other things that we're styling up and the different ways you can do it. Some of the other items that we'll be using today, let's see, where should we go? 
I've got these beautiful pillows by Serena and Lily. You guys know if you've been watching this channel for a while that these are my favorite pillows ever, 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 ever. They're a slightly higher price point than the other ones that are from Pottery Barn or from Target, um, but they are worth every last penny and they are amazing. I would say that these two paired together is just magic. You can feel the quality in these items and I think that that's really important. If you buy quality items, you'll wanna bring them out year after year and you can rework them in so many different ways, but they will last and I think that's so, I just think that's such a big deal, don't you? Some of the other ones that I have are these velvet ones from Pottery Barn. So again, using velvet, but they've got a gorgeous pattern to them. And I just, I love these cushions. Every one of these is awesome. Well, another item we'll be using today is this beautiful cotton throw. I think that you can absolutely mix your throws. In fact, let me show you what we've got. We've got this cotton one with a really great bit of blue in it. And then back here, if you watched my blanket haul video, you will know this is one of my favorite blankets of all time. And I don't know about you, but in the air conditioning, I am usually freezing. My family likes to keep it subarctic because, well, the kids grew up in Copenhagen where the summers were nice and cool. So I like to keep a little bit of both in my room. So a nice chunky knit, something really lightweight. And then we will have this beautiful throw as well. So we're mixing our colors, we're mixing our textures and all of it kind of comes together. Now this little guy that's kind of nudging me here in the back is this adorable cushion. Got this at Target. I have to tell you, I'm usually opposed to cushions that do not come with a down filler. And this one, you cannot, it doesn't have a zipper. Cause I was thinking, oh, I'll just, pop it out of this fiber fill and put another down filler in it and it's gonna take a little bit more work. But you tell me, don't you think it's a good idea to take out that little seam, pop in a down one and you can either sew it back up or you could add a, or you could add a zipper. I think that that would make this totally, totally usable. But even still, it's a nice soft fiber fill and for the price point, it's definitely very affordable. Couple last ones are linen cushions. I adore these. I buy these from H&M Home. So as you can probably tell, I mix a lot of high and low end. These are so affordable. I think they're less than $10 for these. And you can even get the inserts at H&M. So, so affordable. These are amazing. I have used these for years. I, I just absolutely love their linen. And of course they come in all different colors. So just depending on what color you want to go with for the season, you might want to decorate with pink for a summer sunset. And you know, it's totally fine. You don't have to use blue and white for summer. I think it's fun and it's classic, which is why I like to do it. But um, yeah, you don't have to. So definitely feel free to look around and see if you can find these items in a color that really goes with your decor. I've got two last things that I'll show you and then we're gonna get straight into styling. One of them is this beautiful cushion. I just, I love a cushion. That's funny, yeah. Okay, so I love a cushion that has a pattern on it, but I don't use the ones that have overtly like, sea life or my mom loves those and I think they look so pretty on our sofa but for my own I just never feel like it's something that feels authentic to my style I want to be a little bit more subtle I'm always doing that I mean even the pink nail polish that I choose like it, I just want like a muted subtle almost like I tricked somebody into I don't know, like they just walk in and they don't think, whoa, this is the summer room. I, I wanna be more subtle about it. So the ways to do that are choosing cushions like these that have a really light color, they have a really beautiful texture, and when you put them all together with maybe a little bit of sea life or some greenery, it feels summery without screaming or actually being written summer <laughs> across it. <laughs> you guys can let me know in the comment section if you agree or if you would prefer that your items have words that describe what season it is on them. <laughs> My final cushion, ooh, the soap is getting full here. <laughs> My final cushion here is this beautiful one 
from Pottery Barn. This one and the last one are only available now on like eBay or secondhand. I'll leave a link below that'll link to the ones that I'm showing today for all of the items if you're interested in purchasing these items specifically. But I think that eBay is a great place to look to find some of the past collections because I knew what color I wanted and the store was not providing it for me. Everything was very knitted and they didn't have any blues even left. I tried actually getting something from the store and they didn't even have anything. So I had to be a little bit more creative. I hopped on eBay and found the blue one and then this one is available on there as well. But again, I just love the light fabric. I love this flax color in here. Um, I know it gets so bright in this room, but um, the flax color I think is perfect for this season. And it's just, it's a subtle way of adding summer in without being like, <laughs> oh, let's get started. This is going to be fun. I'm putting this gorgeous Catavento throw right over the entire sofa. This is the perfect solution if you have a pet who you're trying to maybe protect your sofa from. I hear a lot of you saying over and over that you have things that you throw over the sofa for the pets and you take them off when guests come, but if you throw the throw right over it, it'll look super cute and no one will know the difference. If you find it easier to have a little bit of a formula, this is a great pattern to have. You've got two that match on the outside, then just inside, you've got two more, again, that match each other, and then one that really just jazzes it up and gives it a little bit of life. Let's try look number two. For our next look, I've thrown the blue striped throw over the back of the sofa just to give us an extra layer. Then I'm gonna make a really bold statement with that Cotavento throw again. I really want it to just have lots of texture and layers. This is how you get that cozy, you've got to sit down on this sofa kind of look. Don't worry about it being perfect. You want the wrinkles and the bumps. Next, I'm throwing in those big chunky pillows. These really give a lot of weight to the sofa. And then we're gonna lighten it up with these other cushions. At the last minute, I popped the blue one to the right and now a little bit of color and it just feels casual and inviting and very approachable. For our final look, I'm throwing that big chunky wool. Yes, I know it's wool, but it's perfect for the sofa, even in the summertime, especially when you balance it with a really lightweight fabric. I'm even throwing these velvet cushions back on because the color is really light and it totally works, especially when you pair it with a really beautiful light pattern pillow like this lacy one. You guys know I have such a soft spot for this. You can see me kind of fluffing these pillows. Don't try to make them perfect. You don't want them to look like you worked too hard at it. <laughs> I say you don't want it to look like you've tried too hard, but I noticed I've got a little bit of a knot in this little blanket where it's just kind of curled up underneath itself. So what did I do? Of course, I had to go back and, you know, fluff it. <laughs> I'm telling you, I am a recovering perfectionist. So enjoy it, make it fluffy. Don't stress over those little details unless you happen to be making a video of your living room. <laughs> I hope that you've enjoyed today's video as much as I have had fun putting it all together. It really was fun to see how many different ways you could use so few things to really mix them up. And now I'm thinking, oh my gosh, there's so many more combinations. So it'll be really fun to hear from you guys which one is your favorite. I love being able to hear from you and being a part of your homes is my favorite thing. So thank you so much for allowing us to be a part of your home and for coming into ours. If you haven't already, make sure to hit the subscribe button, turn on your notifications, visit us at Instagram and Facebook and stay in touch and we will see you in the next one, which should be a lot of fun because we have an entire room to style and I cannot wait. Oh. Yeah, I know what's coming and I'm so excited. So I'll see you in the next one. Bye.